promise to be open to change and to challenge how I act, think, and solve problems. By asking for input from those who are not like me. From local farmers, suppliers, manufacturers, and vendors. By reducing, reusing, recycling, and compost. We can build a better future for all of our children. Where everyone is appreciated. We can create a hyper-localized regional economy. We will celebrate diversity and inclusiveness. We offer hope to those whose faith in a brighter future for Greater Cleveland is not yet strong. We see a green city on a blue lake where nothing goes to waste. And what was super exciting is not only did I get to participate in the summit, but some of our students from the STEM high school were there. And so there was also a way to begin to connect the dots with things we were already doing in the community, as well as our future goals that we had in mind. And one of the groups was looking at a way to link kind of world-class educational delivery with neighborhood economic development and sustainability practices. Literally before the camp collaborative campus group formed at last year's um, convening, there were about three to four groups having the same conversation. And as they were talking, they eventually came to a place that said, gee, if we had a community that had these specific assets, including, uh, for example, a high school, um, a couple of colleges in close proximity, um, a library, um, and as they were talking, they realized that, wait a minute, we really need to all come together around the same topic and issue. What we're describing actually exists in the campus district. There are many Clevelands, and what we realized as soon as we started this project, the district is a really diverse area. So the power doesn't reside where you usually think it does. It resides in you, it resides in your neighborhood, it resides in the relationship between you and me and it resides in a relationship between you and me and this land in this place in this moment. When people can, and I hate to use the term, pull themselves up by the bootstraps and do for themselves, the people begin to vibrate energy around. This vibration is such that it draws other people in. Tremont, it's been a short 15 years, but here it is. Bang it. But the theme that emerged from how do you make a sustainable neighborhood in this place in this time actually became no more talk the talk, we're going to walk the walk. Young people who lived in the neighborhood actually were asked to participate in the process of re envisioning their neighborhood. So we kind of put a stage and an amphitheater and a skate park kind of together. We actually learned more about the neighborhood, and I stay in the neighborhood and I learned stuff that I didn't know about it. It was about engaging the local residents in a local solution. There are points in which people can look at smaller towns. There's a point in which people can look at larger regions and begin to add their piece of the pie. Honestly, add their piece of the pie. Not artificially, but honestly. Well, ultimately, I think that it's about the community because it's, it's very, sustainability is really personal. You know, hey, we got some issues to deal with here where we are not sustainable. How are we going to be sustainable? I can do it alone, I can tell you that, and you're not going to do it alone, we're going to do it together. And we're, what this project wound up being able to say was, yes, we spent time together, came up with ideas together, and now we want to move those ideas forward into concrete reality together. It cannot be any other way than together, because that's how it happened, and that's how it will continue.